the next thing I remember is walking through the front door and then I was lying in the middle of the kitchen floor and he had a knife to my throat. My name is Gemma Evans, I'm from the northeast of England in the UK. I'd um, recently split up with the father of um, my two boys and I entered a relationship um, which at first was very flattering. Within a year and a half I gave my house back to the, the mortgage provider, I would gave my car back to the finance company, divorced my ex-husband, declared myself bankrupt, rehomed my two little dogs and lost my business. It was all mental mind games, um, name calling, things to really make me become a shadow of the person that I was. And we'd been on a night out, um, it was early evening, and as we returned home, I, I, I don't even know if my mind just blocks it out, or if um, you know I've just forgot it. I, I don't even know what started the argument, but the next thing I remember is walking through the front door and then I was lying in the middle of the kitchen floor and he had a knife to my throat. He, he mentioned my children and I don't know where I found the strength from but I managed to push him off us and covered in blood I made my way upstairs as um, I knew I had a panic alarm underneath my bed and I got under the bed and I pressed the panic alarm um, and I could actually hear his footsteps coming up the stairs. Um, and as he got to the bedroom door, it clicked into the control centre and the police said, we're on our way. As soon as he heard the control room talk, he knew that help was on, on its way for me and he left my house. And that was the last time I seen or heard from him. As the early hours of the next morning, he was found dead in a, in a house not far away. The day after it happened, um, I was talking to my mum and she said, you've got two options. You can either move on, you know, and, and make your life, or you can just sit back and, and dwell in what has happened. And those words echoed in my head for about two weeks afterwards. And one morning I got up and I said, mum, I don't have two choices. I have one choice, and that choice is to get on with life. And it doesn't matter what life throws at me, I, I will get up and I'll look it back in the face especially for my two little boys, as they didn't come into this world to have a mum who was a victim of domestic abuse. Every day is a new day. Wake up thankful, go to bed thankful, give affirmations, never ever let somebody tell you what you should be or what you shouldn't be. And always remember that no is a one word answer. I never call myself a victim of domestic violence. I'm a survivor of domestic violence. As I believe if I concentrate on being a victim, I'll always be a victim. But if I'm a survivor, I can help other people. And it is hard, and I'm not saying it's not hard. I know I have dark days, I have dark weeks. But the key is, is that there will be a light at the end of that darkness. And there is somebody out there to help you if you, if you reach out. So when Avon gave you a business, and give you the opportunity to actually go out and meet people as well as empowering women to put makeup on or spray perfume or to use hair products what they they don't realize that not only are they giving them a financial reward but they're also actually giving them a second chance at life <laughs>